All right, guys, I decided uh, it's time for a full walk around video. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for you guys. Just give you a rundown. I may forget some things. Um, there's still more I want to do, of course. When is there not ever more that you want to do on your Jeep Wrangler? So many options, but I'm going to tell you what I've got so far. Okay, so starting out, let's go with a roof rack. I made a video about the roof rack itself. It is a Smitty built Congo Master Safari roof rack. Um, it came with a slight bar when I got it from somebody off Facebook Marketplace. Uh, doubtful that it actually comes with that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I've got a whole video on this, so I won't take too much time. Excuse the duct tape, guys. You know how it is sometimes. Um, yeah, bolts in right here instead of the frame. So we did have to drill into the tub, which I do think is pretty cool. Anyway, so that's the rack. Let's get into some other things on both sides. I added a trail rated badge and it is the 4.0. And yes, guys, I did go ahead and add the trail rated badge because I feel like Rook here is worthy of being trail rated. Um, but back in 1998, unless I'm mistaken, which I could be, uh, I don't think there was a trail rated badge at that time in 1998. So I feel like if there was, Rook would have come with one. And that's not fair. So I had to hook Rook up, let him know, hey, you're still trail rated in my eyes. All right, as you can see, I've got Rook on the sides. I've got a jack. It's been a while since I got it, so I'm trying to remember what size it is, but a lot of you can probably tell just by looking at it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Got it mounted on the hood there. There's the other trail rated badge. Again, this is a 4.0 six cylinder Wrangler. I've got these fenders. Um, they were on it when I got it, so I'm not 100% sure what kind they are, but they're pretty cool. I may update at some point to some poison spider or uh, I forget if the other one's called monster, monster liner or something fenders, but I may get those as well. I don't know. It does have a magnet flow as you can see from a little dude right here and this guy um so let me show you that real quick all right so there's the magna flow and it's just kind of a bolt-on deal where is the end okay um you can see what i'm looking at all right now, where are you buddy yeah, there's the part where it comes out, the turn down right there. Sorry, I know it's hard to see, but there's the turn down. I guess while we're under here, we'll get to the lift as well. So as you can kind of see from that, it is a Skyjacker lift. In fact, it is a Skyjacker 4-inch lift, um, and it's been pretty awesome. It gives me lots of clearance. Um, even with these fenders that I've got, which again, I like the look, but I feel like they take away some clearance because they come down a little bit. Um, but it lets these 33s fit pretty well. So let's get to the tires. And see what I mean? They kind of come down like that. It's not too bad, I guess, but just the way, I feel like even stock fenders give a little more clearance than that. Um, but yeah, these, these are Discover, um, Cooper Discoverer STT Pros. So I've got the Cooper Discoverer STT Pros. They are 33, um, 12.5, 15. And I've had them for well over a year. They've still got really great tread. And I've driven a lot of road and off-road. And there's not a lot of road noise. So I don't know, maybe you guys have heard about them. Uh, the hype is for real okay the hype is for real they are a beast off-road and um again look at all that good tread i've had it for well over a year done plenty of trips to north georgia um and they have just been phenomenal tires for me a little muddy right now as you can see it's been raining here a lot next i do have these side rails pretty cool I love them. I do not know what they are because, again, these were on here when I got it. All right, guys, so we're getting there. Um, again, I may forget some stuff. Uh, 
but here we go. This is the front. Um, I did get the Angry Bird grill, uh, which I know a lot of people don't like, and there's a lot of people that do. I am somewhat picky about my grills, believe it or not, because I love the original. I do love the original. Um, I saw this Angry Bird grill on another TJ with these same headlights, which are the Halo Angel Eyes. And it just looked so aggressive and so awesome. And I love that it still keeps the seven slot grill. That's important to me. A lot of these grills that have four slots or no slots and just some mesh stuff in there, I'm not really too keen on. Uh, I think on the JK, the TJ, uh, I'm sorry, on the JK that the Angry Bird grill looks okay. I don't think it looks terrible. I think in some ways it looks better on the TJ. And maybe it's because of the width of the TJ. It somehow just fits on there in a way that it looks a little bit better. So I really do like the grill for the TJ. Um, that's probably about as different as I would get on a grill on a Wrangler, uh, personally, because I do love the original grill. This one gives it a little more bite, a little you know, aggression that I like, but it's not too over the top, and it doesn't look like you know a spaceship or something. So again, I think it's pretty cool. Keeps with the original roots of the Wrangler, that seven slot grill, and again, that is important to me. Let's get into the winch, which was on here when I got it. Um, I do know it's a worn because there you go. Got the W right there. I have used it just to test it out a few times, um, but I've never actually had to use it because I've never gotten stuck in Rook. Uh, I know a lot of you are gonna say I'm not pushing it hard enough in that case, and hey, that may or may not be true. I have done some fairly aggressive trails, but um, just never gotten stuck in this thing. Um, and one time I was in a situation where I didn't really have to use it. I could have turned around, but to get over this log that was very slick, you know, if I was going to go forward and not go around a different way, I would have to use it. So I did, hooked it up, gave it a try, pulled me right over that log, um, and it was really awesome. So it's good to know that it works and it works well. So if I ever do get stuck, um, you know, I can use it. And I've been to plenty of trails up in North Georgia. I've done some off-roading in Colorado, although that was with another Wrangler. Um, but lots of trails here in Georgia, North Georgia, and I've done some in Tennessee, gone to Winter Rock Park. Um, so it's definitely done its fair share of trails. But um, let's get into some of the other stuff we got going on here. So these are actually not KC's. These are Pedalites. But, um, I lost the covers for them, so I put KC lights on them, and I do like KC lights too. I had them on my old Wrangler, so I may get KC's again up here above the light bar. We'll see, but yeah, these tow hooks, they're getting a little, uh, the paint's scratching off a little bit. They were silver, I believe, and I painted them a while back. I even have a video on that, but yeah, I did paint those red. Um, oh yeah. Let's talk about quick disconnects real quick. Uh, quick disconnects. Um, a lot of you guys are going to think this is kind of sad, but I didn't know it for a very long time. Um, but I do have them. Uh, somebody who owned it before me put some kind of screw or something in there instead of the traditional pin. Um, but still, you know, it's just it's a new thing to me. And so it's already set up too to where um, they can hook up right here when I'm off-roading. So pretty cool. And what else? Uh, I've seen the type before. I can't remember. Oh, here we go. They are the, if this will focus, JKS ones. Um, and again, you know, got a place right there for me to hook them up as I off-road. And again, I've never used them, which is kind of sad. Um, one time, actually a couple times, when I've gotten in a really, really flexy situation, even with those um, on, my tires did rub my fender a little bit. And again, I've got a four inch lift. So I think it is, the fenders come down a little bit, like I said, a little bit more than I'd like. That's why I may go with Poison Spider or Monster, uh, whatever they're called, fenders. Um, at some point. So 
I don't know. I may wait until then to even disconnect because I don't want a tire to rub my fender off. But um, it's something to think about. I don't know. Um, we'll just have to see how it goes. Let's get a little bit into the inside of the Jeep. I got to show you this awesomeness. Oh, yeah. I love it. Let's other people know as they're coming down the road. Other Jeepers know. You got a waiver coming your way. You better wave. You know what I mean? All right. Let's check out the inside. Okay. So, I'll be honest. The inside is probably the most basic compared to everything else. But I do have seat covers that I finally got. Um, they are best top seat covers. They're black, as you can see. They're pretty cool. Um, nothing too crazy other than that. Little CD player. No crazy stereo or anything as far as I know. Um, just, you know, speakers, CD player. Um, yeah, and a little setup here to where I can hook up USB cable and listen to whatever's on my phone. And then I did get this guy. It's okay. It's pretty cool. I do like it. I may get another one down the road that hooks, uh, you know, on here or something, but it's been good. It's been on there for over a year and it's done well. It shakes a little bit sometimes. Um, not too bad, but it can be a little bit annoying. But it's been very helpful. So I can just see my GPS if I'm going to the mountains, see whatever it is I need to see. And then in the back, uh, you know, just your standard back TJ seats. Um, it's an automatic. Of course, it's a TJ, so you know I've got my four high and my four low. Oh, and there's a light switch here for... Well, I'm guessing for the PETA lights, but that's never worked since I bought it. I think they were disconnected or something before I bought them, so I just need to go get uh, maybe a new wire and hook that all up. I really do need to do that, but again, my headlights are the Halo Angel eyes, so they're pretty bright. Um, I don't do a lot of night wheeling. I have before, but you know, mainly during the day. Normally, I like to get an early start, but it'll be helpful, you know, for camping and everything, just to go ahead and get that. Um, the light bar is not hooked up yet, um, electrically, and neither are the PETA lights. So once I get those hooked up with my Halo Angel eyes, the light bar, and um, the PETA lights, it'll be pretty bright. And then if I add four more KCs on the top of the rack, it's really going to be, you know, pretty bright. Um, I oh. Here's something else. I do have a gas cap lock, which is pretty cool. That was on there when I got it. And yeah, um, I don't know if there's anything else that I forgot. Um, little things, I guess. I do have wheel locks on my wheels. And I, you, you guys saw the wheels, I guess. I, I don't know what kind they are, but they're pretty cool. Well, actually, let's just, they are, um, American racing wheels American racing wheels uh, So yeah, they're pretty cool. I may get some black rims at some point, but You know at least the ones I have look cool. I may just paint them black. I don't know um, But yeah, so we went through roof rack You know stickers I probably didn't go over all the stickers, but I guess that's okay um four by four or trail rated badges that I put on there because Rook deserved them and got my jack on the hood, Smitty built, Conga Master Safari roof rack mounted and a light bar on that. Um, of course, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys. I do have for now a shovel and an ax mounted on there. looks pretty cool. I'm going to get some official mounts for those. And we talked about the worn winch, quick disconnects. Um, what else we talked about the tj angry bird grill which again is a little different but i like it because it keeps the original seven slot grill of jeep and it just looks a little bit more aggressive and looks a little bit better on a tj um than maybe a jk in my opinion but i still am okay with it on a jk it looks pretty cool um got the halo angel eye headlights oh i'm gonna have to show you guys the bumpers i don't know what kind they are everyone always asks me Maybe somebody will know in here. The bumper, I mean, you, you've seen it, but um, maybe now somebody can tell which one it is. It looks very similar to a lot of other bumpers on various Jeep 
websites or Jeep company modification websites. But um, despite the amount of people who said, oh, I think I found it, it ends up not ever being it. So I don't know if it's just like a custom job or what. And then here's the back bumper. Um, and again, I do have a trailer hitch and you know, the electrical for hooking up a trailer. Uh, so the brake lights and everything will work and for a trailer. And there's the rest of the back bumper. It's pretty cool, nice and sturdy. Um, so yeah. And of course I got this amazing modification of duct tape installed completely myself okay i do have this the mountains are calling and i must go um by john moore sticker here and another magnaflow sticker as well and i do have a blue ridge bear sticker and a jeep tj's sticker i think that about covers it um Things keep coming to mind. Obviously, you guys can see that I have half doors um, with a soft top top, and it's nice to just slide those out um, in the summer and rock the half doors. Um, that's it. I, I think. I think. Who knows? I may finish this video, put everything away, and say, "Oh, I forgot to bring this up." But again, I don't know that that will happen. Um, but yeah, it's been fun. Um, I love adding modifications. And I think, you know, what's next at some point may get a cold air intake. Um, they do something, you know, and I may go all out and get a really nice one so that it does a little more than just something. Um, this one I've been looking at uh, that um, says it adds, you know, minimum of 15 horsepower increases gas mileage by whatever percent like it actually gives you numbers so i feel like instead of just saying boost this increases that but it giving you specifics and numbers it must be a little better than the average plus it is definitely more expensive than the average so i'm thinking it may uh you know be the real deal we'll see um at some point i may get a snorkel i'm not a huge fan of how they look but they don't look horrible um, they look kind of aggressive, kind of cool. I may get one of the ones that come out of the hood, the circular, whatever those are called. Those look pretty cool. We'll have to see. Also, I want a poison spider uh, hood lure. Um, and I'm trying to think what else. Like I said, either, you know, some kind of new fenders, possibly. And yeah, I feel like there's a big one that I'm not thinking of at the moment. Um, definitely at some point, although these are very expensive, I would love to get a rooftop tent on the top. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm pretty happy with how it's come out. Um, I love the Cooper STT Pros, um, and I may always stick with those. I may experiment a little more. I also love the look of the Dick Sepik Extreme Countries. Um, love the look of the BFG KO2s. So, you know, I may play around, experiment with tires. All of those are great tires. So, you know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Maybe do some more videos as the build progresses. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. Until next time, guys, keep your Jeep waves high and your four wheel low. And we'll see you on the trails.